Hello guys, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. In today's video I thought we'd do a little update on my Blue Dream Shrimp Tub because it's looking absolutely gorgeous nowadays and uh, yeah, I haven't done an update on this in a long time so I thought we'd do one today. Okay, where do we start? Let me pan it a little bit so you can see a wee bit better. And yeah, you can see guys, this tank is absolutely thriving. I absolutely love the way it looks. And to be honest, to be honest, would this have been better in a, in a fish tank? Yes, but that wasn't the point in the original video. This was just to get you guys, um, get you guys to be able to make something like this very, very cheap because this tub was less than, I don't know, $10. And as you can see here, we have tons and tons of endlers that are doing really, really well. The jungle valve that we put in here originally has just absolutely exploded. And yeah, the shrimp in here are doing okay, I would say. If I put food in the front, you'd see quite a lot of shrimp at the front here. You can see all, all the baby endlers in the bottom. Um, yeah, and if I'm going to be honest here, guys, it, it's, uh, it's not just a Blue Dream Shrimp Tank anymore. It is a mixed Neocaridina, a mixed tiger tank because yeah, this tends to be where I put a lot of my culls into this as well so yeah they have a really really nice home but doesn't this look absolutely awesome look how well this has grown you can tell I've moved a little bit of the jungle bar away from the front but this will all uh, root itself properly and it'll be nice again but every so often you have to do this with a tank like this where you have to push all the jungle bar back because it grows so fast look at it it just grows like the clappers, right? So the things that have changed, guys, since you saw my original video of me setting this up, I don't know how long ago it was, maybe a year ago, something like that. Um, I'd say the only real thing I've changed in here is I've moved some of the plants out because I like the way the jungle vowel looked. Duckweed has always been in here. Got the fish, they're just grabbing the food, you see it? This is a goldfish floating pellet. I like to put this in here because I actually love sitting here watching the fish just grabbing bits of it like this. I think it looks so cool. Right? So as I was saying, the only real thing that's changed in here is um, I changed the filtration. And that was simply because of this stuff here. You see the plastic suckers don't really tend to stick to plastic very well. So I switched the filtration over to just a central bigger air pump. Let me see if I can show you what I mean in another tank. Lay this up here on my shrimp tower here. We have a big, big filter, and yeah, you see this tank's doing really, really well as well. But um, yeah, I thought we'd do a little bit of an update on this. Um, I do 50% water changes on this. I'm trying to do it more frequently because I noticed my Neocaridina in specific, they grow much, much faster and they have much, much more babies. The more water changes I do, they're kind of a little bit of the opposite of the Caridina where you have to watch parameters a little bit more, but yeah, this tank is doing fantastic. Um, what else would I change in here? Um, I've, I've actually added a bristlenose pleco in here as well, just to give it a little bit more diversity. And yeah, I'll probably use this more for a great tank for little plecos, little bristlenose plecos, because they, yeah, they tend to breed a lot of bristlenose plecos, and it's always nice to see them grow a little bit bigger. It also means that I can put different species of bristlenose pleco in my other tanks as well. And yeah, they look good. And the other thing, guys, with bristlenose plecos is this bottom layer here. Bristlenose plecos will kind of keep the substrate cleaner than it is just now. See all that black mulm at the back? Bristlenose pleco will kick up all the sand and detritus and stuff. And it'll all go into the water column and it'll go into the filter. You can just see the filter at the back a little bit there. And this is run off a central airline system that I have. You see the airline going away up the back. But yeah, I thought, I thought this would be a good little short video just to show you guys what you can achieve on a relatively cheap budget um, and actually be able to keep shrimp and have something really nice that you can sit and enjoy. Look at that, isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? This is what it's all about. Sitting and enjoying your aquariums. Guys, if you have any questions, please leave a comment in the comment section below. And I'll see you all in the next one. Happy shrimp keeping.